Today, I bring you more information about the iPhone 15, and if you enjoy this type of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Set App is an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. Starting off, Apple is likely to continue to release four different iPhone models, the iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max, which could be replaced by the rumored 15 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Ultra may have different features if compared to the iPhone 15 Pro and, of course, if compared to the base models, but it is still unclear which features and if this model is actually going to be released. I do have another video here on the channel in which I talk a little bit more about this, so make sure to watch that as well in case you haven't seen it yet. About its design, new information surfaced a few days ago, and according to the leaker Shrimp Apple Pro, the iPhone's 15 will have rounded back edges, and the design could be similar to the iPhone 5C. He also said that casing will be made of titanium, but it is still unclear if this is actually happening or not, and if it will or will not be limited to the 15 Ultra. The Apple Hub posted a render recently, and here you can have an idea of this new rumored design for the iPhone 15. Now, USB-C. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, all iPhone 15 models will switch from Lightning to USB-C. However, he also stated that only the 15 Pro and Pro Max or Ultra will support at least USB 3.2 or Thunderbolt 3 for the wired high-speed transfer, which will improve the user experience. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, on the other hand, will still support the same speed as USB 2.0, which is the same speed of the Lightning connector. AirDrop will still be available for faster wireless data transfers, but the wired high-speed transfer will not. If you're curious about the speeds, the Lightning connector has the same speed as USB 2.0, as I just mentioned, and it goes up to 480 megabits per second. Thunderbolt 3 has a bandwidth that goes up to 40 gigabits per second, while USB 3.2 offers between 5 and 20 gigabits per second. Overall, both of these options are considered great upgrades to the iPhone, and it will be faster than Lightning to transfer data from and to the iPhone. Thunderbolt 3, for example, is around 80 times faster than lightning. And this is the new information that I have about the iPhone 15. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.